Hello, scientists. All right, I'm going to introduce you to what you're doing in Digital Science Notebook Part 3. Um, so next week in class, you're going to be taking a summative assessment on finding textual evidence that supports a claim. So in this Digital Science Notebook, we're going to get you ready for that summative. So first, uh, we're going to look at the rubric. We're going to remember, begin with the end in mind and see what you're going to be assessed on. Uh, two, we're going to, you're going to read an article that you're, the article you're going to be using for the summative to find textual evidence. And then lastly, you're going to define some words that you don't know from the article, and you're going to answer a couple of questions from the article, and then you're going to share what you learned on Flipgrid. Okay, so let's walk through this notebook. Uh, your learning target is, I will become familiar with the article. I will be using defined textual evidence. I know I have met this target when I've identified one advantage and one disadvantage of using hydropower. And you're going to learn what that word means. So part one, reviewing your assessment. In this part, you're just going to take a look at your textual evidence summative assessment rubric. It's posted in Google Classroom, and I've also made a video right here that walks you through the rubric. So watch this video. And then you're going to respond to these questions. Like what questions do you have about the rubric? And what part do you think is going to be most challenging or hurt? Then go to this page. This is where you're going to actually read the article we will be using to find textual evidence. So um, to get to that article, you're going to go to Discovery Ed. And you're going to find the assignment Hydropower. It will be listed on your assignments. Uh, then I want you to read the article. And then while you're reading, I want you to pick out five words you don't know and define them in a notebook or on flashcards. You won't need to turn this in. This is just building your background knowledge so that you can be successful in your summative. And then I want you to answer these questions on the next page. What are advantages of using hydropower and what are disadvantages of using hydropower? Um, this video right here walks you through exactly what you need to do to complete these five steps. I would definitely recommend watching this little video. It shows you how to get to the article and it shows you how to get the article to read to you. So if you want it read out loud to you, it, it, it show you how to do this in this video. So please watch that. Uh, on the next page is, this is the part where I want you to share what you know. So again, I want you to share what you learned on Flipgrid. So for that one, out of those five words, just pick one of the words that you defined that you didn't know before, um, or a word that you thought maybe other people might not have known. I want you to share that on Flipgrid. And within the same video, I want you to pick one of your responses for either an advantage or disadvantage of using how to pack your power and share what you learned about that. Just pick one, either an advantage or a disadvantage. And in that same video on Flipgrid, share what you learned and i can't wait like i said that's my favorite part is watching the videos you make and then when you're done come back and just uh complete this learning target i will become familiar with the article i will be using to find textual evidence i know i've met this target when i've identified one advantage and one disadvantage of using hydropower and move the check mark to where you are in your learning um and then you're done Go ahead and turn this uh, notebook into Google Classroom. And again, let me know if you have any questions.